Nine o'clock, get your boobs out. Look, <laughs> everyone. Okay. <laughs> it's the X rated version of CrossFit. Oh, is this rolling? Now? Yes, it is. Oh. Yes. No, no, it's a. Uh, it, no, it's look, the, move, the thing is Bloopers. moving. Bloopers. Okay. <laughs> It's the moose you call. Worse the you're worse. You're worse than the spoiled two guys. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. It's true. Um, Mike's in trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna put this okay. here. Don't worry. It's just so we don't. You know. So you can hear our boobs move. This is another X-rated version. <laughs> so 9 a.m. class. Yeah, the three of them, three, three <laughs> master moms, mm -hmm. right? Well, she's not a mom, but she's in. Yeah, not yet. She's the nice. most master. <laughs> she, I'm she, the most masterly. She's the most masterly. Yeah. Really? No, you're like 27. Yeah. Yeah. See? Plus, <laughs> plus so, a few. We've got in blue Maria. Hello. There we go. Allison. We it's call Ali. Mm -hmm. A double I, double L I, <laughs> one S. One S. One S. Uh, and Barbara. So. <clears throat> <laughs> the three of them. Bruises. Have, yeah. Barbara That's is for it. boobs. <laughs> Barbara is for boobs. Boobless. Motherless and boobless. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is awesome. <laughs> this, we're going to have views. This on is this 9 a.m. Yeah. 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 See what you're yeah. missing? Yeah. They were a bit crazy. Usually we're quiet. Usually we're quiet. Yeah. Usually. Okay. Yeah, usually mm -hmm. we maybe are. you. <laughs> maybe me. Yeah. Yeah, but there's no. Mike's a never quiet. No, ever. <laughs> okay, talk, it's, Mike. It's a coffee. No, uh, a lot of people say that um, CrossFit is just for guys, or that girls will get bulky. That, you know, you can't do it; it's too intense. You need to be in shape. So, what do you think of that? Like, it's so you, true. When I started CrossFit, I went to, into the gym place and I saw pictures on the wall. And I go, uh, I don't want to be like that lady there, huh? Yeah. She was going to be, don't worry, you have to do five, six hours of training every day. Okay, fine, you know? Yeah. I was scared, yeah. It's probably like a, a, a competitive athlete. Yes, she was, yeah, competitive, yeah. yeah. I didn't so, know. So there is a division between uh, the sport of CrossFit and the training method, right? Mm. And you, you, you're doing the training method. You, yes. you don't compete. No. So now, how long have you done CrossFit? It's four, four years. And what was the life before CrossFit? I was doing nothing. Nothing, nothing, I, was, nothing. I never did any sports, nothing. My husband actually convinced me to go, and I wasn't too crazy about the idea. I go, let me try. Let me do one month. Let me do three months. And then... I start loving it. What, what was the what, what convinced you? Like what like what got you to like it? Uh, now you're I guess every it's day. the working as a group for me. That's what okay. it takes. By myself, I wouldn't. I give up right away. We can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Were you scared of anything? Uh, I mean, it's the the barbell, the weightlifting yeah. that was scared me. And yeah. it's, uh, so now you don't seem to be that scared of it? No, there's certain moves that I'm still scared of, yeah, but yeah, it's, you be careful, it's a work in progress, you know, yeah. slowly, but surely. And what's your favorite thing about CrossFit? My favorite thing? Yeah. We're talking about a movement or? Or <laughs> double unders. <laughs> 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 no, but that's, like, overall, like it's, it's double unders? I, I think it's, the, it's like, like I said, it's the community part of it, uh, working together, different age group, okay. different fitness level too, in the same group. Mm -hmm. it, it's interesting that age group uh, different yeah like everybody could do it yes yeah. yes what would you say to women that uh, are afraid now right now like you know like, no, hey. just come try it don't be afraid <coughs> you have to try something new sometimes you have to push yourself yeah that's what's it from you have to yeah. push myself is there a benefit on your health or fitness oh do you see God. anything yeah a lot oh wow. yes yeah climbing you my stairs at home with a laundry basket they're full of clothes five people it's i could do it now a few times up and down i'm not short of breath you know as before i'm like <laughs> you cool. seen yeah, her see double unders yeah 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 yeah. it's crazy she can do double triples. i love double unders wow. i love them that's awesome <laughs> she Allie. makes up for us ali how was mm. uh how long have you been doing crossfit 2012. Yes, it's true. April. You, started, you started here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In CrossFit Moms. Yeah, with Jackie. With Jackie and a few others. That's it. And uh, what convinced you? Uh, a Christmas Jackie. party. <laughs> Jackie and Alcohol. Stuart Alcohol. and Mike <laughs> and Jason. No, no, I had a baby. Alcohol. I remember. I had a baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that Christmas party. Yeah, at Jackie yeah. and Stuart's yeah. house. Yeah. yeah. We were uh, so... And Jackie. it was all the talk. Yeah. Yeah. Jackie and Stuart, they used to work for Adidas and Reebok. Yeah. And Stuart was the uh, marketing manager. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of, uh, for me and Jason, we, we didn't really mm -hmm. know. Like, you're like, oh my God. Yeah. And all Stu said when we entered his house was, we're not working today. We're just friends. All you need to do is talk CrossFit. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's easy. And uh, they did. And we actually did. Yeah. <laughs> and 
and uh, yeah. boom, a few, a few came. You came yeah. and stayed. Yeah, and we had, uh, I think it was 10 o'clock in the morning. It was all moms, and we had a um, couple of girls watching the babies while we worked out, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just you and Jason coaching, and I think a couple of others. Yeah. Back in the day, we were growing the team. That yeah, was, oh man. yeah. There was we there just, was like we nothing two, in here. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing, and we were yeah. just two coaches doing every class. I'm like, yeah, Ugh. yeah. yeah. We it was really solution. fun though. It was back when you used to name the workouts. Like Jason yeah. would name them, yeah, and we, uh, we named them of any name. Yeah. Did you yeah, did fun. you like just working out as women, or you like to work with the men too? It's a different. Yeah, it's very different. Back back in the day, I was, it was very it was shy to okay. do that. To, like I used to go to gyms but I was shy and then I would try uh, women's only gyms but the workouts weren't yeah. very good and I was bored and then when I started here it was like a, a you, big step for me you're not the only one eh? many <clears throat> uh, many women many are women very, very are shy yeah, yeah. And you know what for guys many guys <clears throat> don't like to be coached by a woman yeah. I've heard that, like, and I've seen it, like, you know, because I'm like, oh, she's not gonna tell me how to squat. It's an ego thing. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Yeah, but you have to break those things, right? <laughs> yeah. What's your yeah. biggest uh, CrossFit pet peeve? Mm. Do you have one? Oh, when people take my rack. <laughs> you have that one's mine. <laughs> yeah, and the one beside uh, it is Karen's. <laughs> yeah. Pet peeve. And the one across from that is Louise's. Yeah, we have oh, our spots. We're, true. we're set. Me yeah. too. I have my spots when I work yeah. out. It's like I Especially when you don't go in the same class like you usually go. You go to later class and you know. And they don't like, know oh, and man. I have to yell like, at where, them. Where should I go? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. uh, my biggest pet, I don't know. Uh, what do I not like? Or something you like. Elaborate oh, on the on. question. The echo bike. Oh, the echo bike. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, the bikes. Those bikes I are, don't like the bike. <laughs> nobody likes the bike. No. You prefer the bike or the burpees? Burpees. For real? Yeah, for real. I okay. take burpees. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Six six inch target uh, over bar. <laughs> over box. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> over the bike. Yeah, but like stepping it. on the box, not jumping over the box. I'm not that good. <laughs> so for today's workout, I'm sorry then. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we'll I didn't complain it. too much. Go do it again with burpees. Things. Saving it for Lyle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Burpee over rower. No, but Lyle loves the bike. You know. Lyle. Yeah. yeah. Lyle, oh, yeah, yeah. he smiles a little bit when he yeah, makes I us know. do the bike because mm -hmm. he knows. <laughs> well, he's yeah. good like that. Like, he then he goes, yeah, you keep it at 6 p.m. Like, yeah, yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> You're yeah, good at the bike, go, though. Go, go to the board. <laughs> You're good at the bike. Yeah. What about you, Barb? When did you start? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hawking? <laughs> no, it just it was going under the leg. Um, it's me. Three years ago. Three years ago. <clears throat> it was a program we had yeah. called the New, New you. you. Yeah. It was fun. Ah. It was, that was an intense thing. It was. And then what got you to switch from the new you program, very much cardio oriented, right, to CrossFit? It was a challenge. Okay. I was out of shape, mm -hmm. but I felt like it was something that really appealed to me because it was like me against me. And so when you say you were out of shape three years after, now you say you're like, you're getting in shape. Are you in shape? What do you feel? My conditioning is like incredible. I couldn't run. When we used to run, do you remember? I would make it out the door and halfway across the parking lot, and I was like, "Sorry." I could even yeah. run once around the gym when I first started. Yeah. Once. Wow. Wow. What? It's <laughs> one round around the gym. I could that's do. super. I couldn't cool. skip. I couldn't do anything. You guys know George, right? <laughs> George who comes at 6 a.m. Greek. Yeah, Greek. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, George had to take medication before, and he had like you know health problems, and Cross had solved them. And there's a video mm. on uh, the YouTube channel. If you scroll down, you'll find George. And what he says about it, it's crazy. Yeah. So it changes people. It, it does. Really, really does. But now there's still some, um, some uh, words like, you know, you're going to get injured with CrossFit. It's, if it's you do something stupid. Then yeah. yeah. It, it's true. You can get, totally get injured. Yeah. Like, like in soccer, you can get injured. Like in any sport. You can go all out. If you start CrossFit, you have to go slow. Yeah. Respect the steps. Know yeah. the movement before, yeah. Don't yeah. compare yourselves to others. No. no. You can have an idea looking at the board of oh, what others have done. But well, I know like Marie and I are usually yeah. pretty close. So we usually can pick the same, weights relatively and, the same weights yeah. and the same pace and that kind of thing. Gives but confidence I'm not gonna, when you see one doing something, the other yeah, one could do. Yeah. yeah, but you have to remember not to compare yourself to kids. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, 18, 19, But it motivates years. me. That motivates me, seeing what other people well, can do. Well, gives you confidence. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily compare myself, mm -hmm. but I like mm -hmm. to watch other people and I see their oh, technique yeah. Yeah. and... I, make, I made a post yesterday about scaling. You yeah. know, like, you should scale. It's, it's important. And um, 
a person I coach in another gym uh, answered and said, you know, sometimes scaling is associated to I'm a beginner. No. Is that is that true? No. No. No way. Eh? Like and he you're says, still that's getting your workout. Absolutely. Like Barb and I, well, all three of us, I think, have had shoulder issues. Yeah. So, okay, we don't want to aggravate it more. We replace that with something else. We're still getting the same I think same I'm working amount. harder with, because uh, I'm doing different moves that I don't mm -hmm. do often, and I yeah. find them even harder sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, you, we you don't have to stop injury, the yeah. gym just because you're, yeah. you have so a little bobo. You have, you have scaling when you have a bobo, <clears throat> an injury, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. like something that or bugs you. Or scaling when you can't, but you're still, like or today for the Toes to Bar that we did the Dragon Flags, that's still yeah. I think really that's good. Sorry, Allison. No, it's okay. I think that's Here the biggest misconception about CrossFit mm -hmm. is people think that you can't scale it. I think most people do mm -hmm. scale everything most of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's why it's important that we have this little video there because it, 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 it educates people. You know, it's going to help other people to see because a lot of people have been ex exposed to CrossFit through the CrossFit games and competition. Like you said, you walked that's in. You saw the pictures. You what like, you oh see my on God. TV. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably um, Michelin you saw. No, it was Tanya. Oh, and Tanya. Michelin, and she I'm like, like, I don't look like that. And I didn't recognize Tanya. And I felt bad afterwards. She goes, that's me. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad. I mean, that's well, too much for me. Like, she goes, don't worry. You're not, not going to be a, like that. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's competitive athletes. Yes. It's normal that their body changes. It's, it's, mm -hmm. absolutely, it's, like, it's like gymnastics. Yeah. It's, it's perfect to do on a Tuesday night, a Thursday night with a group of friends and a coach. But you're not going to do six hours of gymnastics like you, your daughter does. Six mm -hmm. hours, well, obviously you're going to become a competitive athlete. You mm -hmm. know that's what it takes. Yeah, it's a different bracket. Of but we all did the open. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, because, but, but that's the thing. Um, the you, you, we all did. You all did the open, yep. and it's a good thing because it brings. It's like a test. It's like you're studying the whole year, and then you're passing the test to see, hey, have I studied well? Yeah. Have I done well? If you use it as a test and to learn about yourself and to move on with, you know, the next month. Okay, well, wait a second. I'm not that good with stuff over my head. Yeah. I'm going to learn about it. You know, I'm going to mm -hmm. learn that. And if you're not challenged, we're, we tend not to do those things, you know, like we tend to, oh, I'll go around. It's I fun. Do. And we all encourage each other yeah. and coach each yeah. other. I was anxious about it a bit. Yeah. It's, like, it's sometimes you didn't want to do it in the beginning. It was affecting me that day. That yeah. With the workout, I was mm -hmm. uh, a bit like. But mm -hmm. once you did it. You know what? Yeah, I yeah, did. Yeah. I learned something like the, the when you the step on the box with the weights. I did 35. I, I thought I couldn't do it. And you I did it. Do it. Yeah. 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 You push yourself. Too. Yeah. I did. Yeah. And then yeah. my toast, my first to, uh, talk to Dubai on the open, oh, yeah. so I was like, whoa. Okay. Usually this happens in yeah. the open. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you get some stuff for the first time. But you know what that is? It's not because you just got better all of a sudden. It's because you release of all fear, and now you're like, I got to do, do this. It. I got to do this. And uh, mm -hmm. those butterflies that you get yes. before the workout is announced, you're like, what is it that we're going to do? <laughs> in 2012, I think you were the April. So the first workout, I remember. Mm, what was it? Seven minutes of burpees. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Dave Castro walks to the yeah. camera and he yeah. says the uh, 2012 mm. uh, first workout of the Open, blah, 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 is AMRAP. And then he does this on the screen and there's the word AMRAP. Seven minutes of, and he does... And the word burpee. It was happens. to a six inch target or to something. To a six right? inch target, yeah. yeah. And so we were like, no, 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 wait, rerun. That's it? Is that it? Like, <laughs> is there like a deadlift or a kettlebell swing somewhere? Like, a, can we do a, a pull up? It was, just, it was burpees. just burpees. Yikes. So that means it's like there's no, like everybody can be on the floor, stand up, and then, yeah. you know, jump pretty mm -hmm. much. Like it's, it's very mm -hmm. rare unless you have like a, a massive injury to, but oh my God. You know, like that you have anxiety. You're like, oh my God, because you know you can push. Sometimes it's good to do that. Not yeah. every day. Not every yeah. day. Mm -hmm. What is your rhythm that you girls are coming to the gym? Like, what are you recommending? So, because all of you can see results in, in a way or another mm -hmm. uh, on your daily life and fitness. And, you know, like you were talking about the stairs, you know, uh, you're getting in better shape. You're in definitely in better shape. You know, it's working. But what is the rhythm? What, like once, twice, more? Oh, I mean, I four to five three. times a week for me. Four to five times? Yeah. yeah. I, I come four. Four, times. four. Four? Four. I do yeah. five, five on and bonus. two off. Five and on, two off. Yeah. That works for me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, five different. Too much for me. Yeah. <laughs> five is too much for I you? I do two. I take Wednesday off and I do two. Okay. I should come during the weekend, but never happens. <laughs> well, it's hard. Crazy. Yeah, the yeah. schedule's hard with the kids. And it changes. The weekend. Changes yeah. on the weekend. So four, four would be a would four be a minimum, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, and 
Well, even three, like somebody who's just starting, yeah. I think start three is good. good. Yeah. One day yeah. on, one day off. That's what I used to do. Yeah. Absolutely. First, uh, first Helps. Is there any importance? <laughs> it's a trick question. Is there any importance for nutrition? Yeah, that's what are I'm you, are you, are you, this whole conversation. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> cool for it. Did 100%. you see the post? The middle, <laughs> the, the best part of the, uh, the healthiest part of the donut is the middle, middle part. You have the problem to is you have to eat, eat the round. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, like, absolutely. How strict sure, are sure, you? Are sure. you straight or are you, like, is it that crazy? For the crazy? most part. For the most part. You eat properly? Yes. And then so, but you and it makes a huge difference with my energy, uh, my workouts, um, just you, how I feel. But you allow yourself some good treats and stuff. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Like if, yeah. the, if we're going out for ice cream with the kids on the weekend, I'll have a small ice cream kind of thing. Yeah. Um, Do you have? I it? fall off the wagon sometimes. Yeah, it's normal. <laughs> you know. And what? But motivate? for the majority of the time, I'm eating well. What motivates you to get back on the wagon when you fall off? That it makes me feel better and, you know, makes my days better and yeah. makes my workouts better and dealing with the kids and just My body general. doesn't tolerate junk anymore. I mean, no, I eat yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. but on the weekends I might like eat less well. And when mm -hmm. I don't eat that well, my body fights me. Yeah, it tells you, it yeah. warns you. Oh, yeah. yeah. So and I eat better when oh, I'm yeah, going yeah. to the gym. I wasn't drinking, but if I have, have one, like a I glass of wine. The next day, I feel okay. like yeah. my oh, oh, my God. God. Yeah. Me too. You like, if I have. Yeah. If yeah. I have, a, like, a drink or two with friends, uh, I, you know, on the weekend, the next day, I was talking with uh, one of our members here, Patrice. He's 30 years old, and he said, Here's, what, here's how disciplined I can be. Like if, I, if me and my girlfriend wants to, we want to open a bottle of wine because it's, you know, we want to enjoy yeah. uh, mm -hmm. a good dinner. Uh, we do it, but the next day, I come to the gym and I work harder because I have to pay for it. And I know, like I, yeah. I make myself pay for mm, it. Yeah. He's, like, he's like, I do it because I want to show my body that, you know, whatever, how bad I feel after because of what, the alcohol, well, then I'm going to push. Mm. Uh, and now it's like, when you share a bottle with two people, it's not that much either, right? No. It's enough, but it's not that much, right? So for him, he's like, ah, oh, pushing. Same with cake or, you know, pies and junk, ice cream, like, junk. Oh, chips. chips. <laughs> so what's, what comes first? Nutrition or training? After you, what, do you, what would you, uh, like, what do you feel? My nutrition, I could improve. I, uh -huh. I, 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 I did some changes, but I could do more changes. Yeah, I think it's training, I know, training, 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 but if you want to get to the next level, first, you've got to bring the nutrition to a yeah, serious... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, would we agree that 80, 20 percent, mm -hmm. 80 good, 20 percent we can just let it go, would be a good thing? Yeah, that's probably reasonable. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's what I do. Sometimes yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. 90, 10, mm -hmm. right? What would you say to women that may see this video and that, you know... You can do it. Yeah. It's doable for anybody. It's all in the mind, eh? Just try it for like a month, stick to it, and yeah. then after a month, you do another yeah. month. Yeah. It's, yeah. Do it with it's, a friend. It's one step yeah. mm -hmm. after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like we're all friends. We're friends yeah, outside so of the gym now. Friends, it's it's a it's little. Fun. It's even fun to work out once you make that connection with with people. people yes. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. push each other. Like we all know kind of what each other's capable of, and. Some, yeah. some days you have a bad day and you say, come on, you can do it, Maria, Barb, get yeah. back on it. It's good. You can put more weight on your bar, <laughs> yeah. Maria. That's always my case. Yeah. That's <laughs> Allison, <laughs> stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> what I find super cool, though, and I heard you guys talk in the classes, like you knew where everybody was, where Dorothy was, where, yes. where the other yeah. people that come at 9 a.m. were. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, you guys scare like that. It's awesome because yeah. it's not just 9 a.m. Like if, if you see any class of the day, you know, you, you make connections and then everybody cares. And yeah. us coaches, we see everybody, everybody. So we think that everybody knows everyone. That's not true. It's within the class that they mm -hmm. know. And then the cool, the cool thing is that, you know, hey, where were you yesterday? Mm -hmm. yeah. And they ask the question. Yeah, you guys ask the question to other people yeah. faster than the coach do. Yeah. 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 So that's it. Oh, so-and-so is late because of this and that. You just should be here in a minute. And we have a group yeah. on we Facebook. Group. We yeah. all talk to each other all so the time. It's amazing. About Every everything. Nutrition, yeah. uh, what we did Recipes. well, what we didn't do well, their that's kids. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Negative stuff, positive stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's everything. Yeah. Did you see the socks Mike was wearing? <laughs> 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 I knew I was going to get it. Uh, 
Uh, it's those ones, eh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'm going to give a high five. And uh, let's hope that, you know, we educated a bit more people. Now. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's very doable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. <laughs>